What is going on internet today? I'm going to go through how to ride ruts with hooks on them. Now this is a, a pretty gradual hook, but if you look at the line coming in, if it kind of continued along its same path, it would end up towards the middle of the turn, maybe even outside. And you can see right there, it hooks to the left. In other words, it gets a little bit tighter. This one's not bad at all, really. But the technique I'm going to show you is, uh, is I think, a much smoother, consistent way. Normally, I would enter that turn, and before the apex, I'd be sitting down, have my leg out like this. But when there's a rut that's got a hook past the apex, I tend to actually prefer to like stand up until I get to the hook. And then as I approach the hook, I try and time sitting down and putting my leg out and getting on the throttle all at the same time. And you want that timing because when you sit down, the rear shock's gonna compress, right? You're gonna sit down, the shock's gonna compress. If then there's a pause between you sitting down and getting on the throttle, the shock's gonna uncompress, and then it's gonna compress again when you get on the gas. So you wanna time it so that as you sit down and compress the shock, you're also getting on the throttle at the same time. So we're gonna take a couple runs through this, and I'm gonna stand up until I get to the hook, and then I'll sit down near the hook and throttle out all at the same time. It'll be nice and smooth. The suspension will stay collapsed in the back and the bike will drive out of the hook a lot smoother than it would if my timing between sitting down and throttle was off. Okay, I'm choosing second gear. I'm standing. It. Ooh, track is greasy because I just watered it. All right, let's try that again. Stand, stand, stand. Woo! That was perfect. That felt great. All right. You don't have to nail the throttle super, super hard. So, trying to be smooth and aggressive, it's a delicate balance, because I could have nailed the throttle really hard, but there's not a lot. You're still turning, right? Like, you can't be super aggressive here because as you exit this rut and you're still kind of slightly turning a little bit, there's no lip, like the lip goes away. The lip that's gonna hold you and be super aggressive is right there. So once you're like over here, you can't be stupid aggressive with the throttle because especially on a two stroke like this, you're gonna slide out. Even with all the great traction there is right now, all these people are looking at me like, what's he doing? Why is he pointing at the ground? What's he going on? It's like, dude, I'm just making a video. All right, so we're gonna hit that one more time because that felt stupendous. But listen to the throttle. I'm gonna go through it one more time. Just, oh, I'm gonna try and repeat what I just did because it was absolutely perfect. That's like a really mild hook. I've seen ruts where you come in, everything's nice and fine, and it hooks like twice as hard as that. It's, it's not quite a 90 degree because that just wouldn't work, but certainly more aggressive, you know, maybe like 45 degree. That one's probably like hooking in, I don't know, maybe 20 degrees or something like that. It's, it's not a bad hook at all. You probably could come through there sitting down all the way and not have an issue. But um, this was just for demonstration purposes. If the hook was worse, you, you definitely, I think it just works. I always feel so much more consistent and smooth when I stand up all the way up to the hook itself and then sit, compress the shock, and power on 
all at the same time. Like th those, all those events should be overlapping. It's not like, okay, I'm done sitting, now throttle. It's like as my butt's getting close to the seat, I'm thinking throttle. As my butt hits the seat, I'm on the gas slightly and then just continuously opening it up. I'm gonna call it a video right there, folks. You know what to do, man. Keep that rubber side down. And we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Woo! Holy shit balls, I over jumped that. I am not gonna lie, I was freaking out when I was in the air. I was like, holy fuck, get the front end up, get the front end up. Cause that was gonna be a hard landing. <laughs>